Hello everyone, uh, this is another Beam problem where we are going to learn how to create a shear and a bending diagram as well as finding the reaction forces at, at these two supports using SOLIDWORKS. As always, at the end we will compare the simulation results against the hand calculation. Uh, this is a rectangular beam and we have a uniform load of 100 pounds per inch and look at the support location so there is one support here at the upper section and there is another one at the middle of the beam overall beam length is 16 inches so let's so let's uh, begin by preparing the beam for the simulation let's create a new part the this beam is in inches so we are just going to double check our units make sure that we have inches and let's hit okay now we can select the front plane and create and sketch so now we're doing the beam length so we're um so we're doing a um we're splitting up the beam in two sections and and we're doing this because we want solidworks to create a joint at the middle of the beam so we can place the support at that location so this is eight inches and this is also eight inches you can hit okay let's go to features actually let's go to weldment and select the structural number from here we can select any beam type it doesn't matter because we are changing the profile of the beam to our requirements so let's hit ok so right now this is a circular beam and we're going to modify it and create a rectangular beam so let's go to sketch and edit sketch so this is our profile of the beam we can select the whole thing and delete and now click yes select the rectangle and let's do our beam according to the problem this is one inch and this is two inches make sure when you do the beam select the um, the beam is located at, at the joint at the origin so now this is our created beam if you notice this is a uh, flat on the floor we're just going to go back to the weldment and edit feature and scroll down and rotate you can put this 90 degrees we should be okay now next we can go to the simulations and um, new study you can rename this um, you can just call uh, shear bending diagrams Let's hit okay so these are the joints that I was referring to so let's assign a material since we're only doing a shear and bending diagram to to create those diagrams the material type is not really required but for SOLIDWORKS to run the simulation we need to select that material so you can select any material for now next we will apply uh, some fixtures so let's take a look at the problem one more time so there is a support at this location opposite of the um, this another support at the middle of the beam the beam so let's prepare that okay so the first thing we do is let's use a reference and let's select the, the first joint for the first support and the reference plane is going to be the top plane because we're going to restrain the that beam on the normal to that plane so we can check that one right there so now let's take a look so if you notice um, 
let's make that a little bigger so you can see the direction of that support so the support is on the opposite direction so we need that to go downwards so for that you can just click on the reverse direction and we also need to um, restrain the the beam on on the uh, z direction as well so click on on a long plane so we got our first support located now let's hit okay and let's apply the next support at the middle and this join was created because we made two lines so again uh, use reference we select the middle joint and for the plane we are going to select the top plane as well so here we're going to we're going to restrain that support against the uh, we want to play uh, to place that support on the normal normal plane and also along that plane so let's see if we can make that bigger for you to see it probably not okay you can see this one here but the other one is in size so you probably won't see it uh, what if we make this 500 you can kind of see it so the direction is, is correct so we can just now hit ok finally we are going to apply the load let's hit a um, force and this is a uniform load of, uh, of uh, 100 pounds per inch and that uniform load uniform load starts at the middle of the beam to the end so let's select the beam and let's select the second section of that beam for the plane we're going to select the top plane and we need to check this box because it, the force that we're applying is not a single point for is a uh, uniform load, load so let's check that one and after you check that you notice that now this became pound force per inch so we're going to place that force normal to the top plane and this is 100 pounds per inch so looking at the direction of the force we need to reverse checking that now we can make that force a little bigger so we can see the direction of the force so now we can just hit ok and we are ready to start the simulation we can just run this study and here we have the results we can right click on the results and select define beam diagrams from here uh, let's select the shear force change the units we can make this 40 this is um, going to make the diagrams a little smaller for the chart options we can show the minimum and the maximums let's check floating and decimal places we can just set that to one let's hit ok so that is our first um, diagram now we can add the bending diagram we'll do the same same step and from here instead of selecting shear now we're going to select the, the bending moment diagram and let's make this pound force inch we can make that 40 
for the chart options we can show the minimum and the maximum and for the units we can set to just one decimal place and we can hit ok all right so let's take a look at the first the first diagram let me orient this a little bit so we have a um, 800 pounds for the top section and 400 pounds for the section below let's see and for the for the bending moment we have with this we have 3200 pound force inch so now let's uh let's compare that to the calculation so we have 800 pounds and 400 pounds for, for the shear force and that's what we obtained on the simulation now let's take a look at the bending moment 3200 and that's also what we got with the simulation so the results are in line with the hand calculation now let's take a look at the at the reaction force reaction forces at the two locations so from that we can just right click on the results and hit on list result force okay so from here we can select the units and the supports are located here and also here and we can just hit update okay so if you notice the reaction on this location is acting opposite of that location so that's what we are expecting because the support is on the top of the beam and we have 400 and at this location we have 1200 pound pound force so let's take a look at the calculated value and the reaction at this location is 400 and 1200 at the at the middle of the beam which is what we calculated and this is how you um perform an, an analysis on on this uh on this type of beams and this concludes this tutorial thank you for watching